Okay, we're good. So dumb. Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. Today. He's Dan and I'm Sean. Why do I forget that a lot? I don't know every time. It seems like the easiest part it. of the whole thing, doesn't it? Oh. We're going to do a glass video. Yeah. Which glass is best for Please drinking stop. whiskey? Just. Bam! That'd be a really cool intro is me just smash. <laughs> You want to know what people want to know? The best glass to drink whiskey out of. If you're going to drink coffee. Solid idea. It's a palate cleanser. So, what do you need for a good glass video? You know what you need? About 10 glasses. Nope. Eight glasses. I don't even, Five I know glasses. that I don't like some of these glasses, but they have to be in the video for the sake of glasses, glassware and whiskey consumption. For the sake of glasses. So, here's the thing. You need a jigger. Hey, Tom Cruise. Bartender, pour me an ounce into each one of these glasses, please. No one ever orders an ounce. Um, there's one ounce. We're gonna put an ounce in each glass. So, glasses we got. We got the Denver and Lily. Why? What are you pouring? Cheers. Son of a bitch. We have the Denver and Lily. We got. Our blend, which you can email us at bourbonjunk at gmail.com. Eh, you know, <clears throat> and then we got Rocks Blast. Bulb. Well, the, okay, our Rocks Blast specifically. Which you can email us at bourbonjunk. The second gmail. greatest rock glass to exist, <laughs> next to Lord Rock. Next to you, our bulb. Uh, <laughs> which is the, the best bulb to exist. <laughs> yep. It's the next, this is a Kentucky Trail glass. Sean's making up names. Are you using the correct names? Next to this flower pot. That's a neat, that's the neat glass. This is a San Francisco choice. Next to this double, double wall, beautiful It is baby. pretty. If we're being honest, that is pretty. Yeah. It's a Norlin, for Norlin those wondering. Oh, look how pretty it looks in that. By, if we're talking sexual preference, immediate choice. Oh my gosh. Now here's the thing. Am I biased against Norlin glasses? Yeah. Yeah, you are. So we're gonna blindfold the shit out of the nosing aspect. Let's get kinky. Nosing, <laughs> then tasting, and then what? I don't want to drop a Denver. We are not. How do we, you know what? The best clink to do the damn thing. We need something to blindfold with. Take your shirt off. Okay, don't, do, don't go too tight because it's on my eyeballs. My eyes are open and they're burning. Okay, so Sean's going to lift them to my nose so I can smell them. Then I'm going to tell you which one's the best and which one's the I don't. I'm not going to be able to rank them all. Well, I mean, Are you lifting them any to. up yet? No. I'm just standing here in the dark. Yeah. All right, you I ready? like how there are tassels on this thing, dude. Yeah, you like tassels. Little antennas, dude. Got gotcha. you. You ready? All right. Number one. Nothing. You can't move. Worst one. Okay. Okay, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> this is a live stream bear love. You should probably <laughs> not do that. You have to try to hold these all the same distance. I'm going to, okay. but I need you to stop and be bopping and ski bopping. This is a disaster. Yep, go. You ready? Last you ready? one. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, it smells good. There's no proof on that in that glass. Whatever that glass is, there's it's not proofy. That's okay. a good. I like it. Okay, go ahead. Number two. Ready? Number two here. Go ahead. I don't like that one as much. Okay. 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 First one over the second one. Uh, it's like three, flatter in that this. one. All right. There's less aroma. Wait, wait. Go ahead. Is it? Can it get closer? I mean, why is it so far away? All right. What I'm, the hell's going on with these glasses? <laughs> Swirl some shit or something, dude. Because I'm trying to not make shit. No, touch I want to die. All right. <laughs> Swirl it for you. Mm hmm. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Hold on. I like this one. Okay, I like that one. That's All a right. good one. All right. And then we have this one. Uh, hold up. And go. Okay, that one's good. All right. So I'm moving Dude, the alcohol. I'm moving them around a little bit for the you. The alcohol's super low on most of those. All right. Uh, is there a glass? Are there some left? There's one left. Oh shit! Okay. You ready? Right, I'm gonna swirl it. Huh? It needs the swirl. Let me. Okay. Let, now after that one, let me smell the very first one one more time. Okay. The first glass. And go ahead. Oh, I like that one. That one wins. That one wins. The last one I smelled, I'm gonna say third place. I know that's that's gotta be the Norlin. Why the hell is that the Norlin? 
What? There's no proof in that glass at all. What's up? Give me three again. I don't know how you're gonna remember if this is number three or not, but there you go. I mean, I get like bananas on that one. Okay. Oh, the f okay, here's the thing. It's, I like the, how it smells more on that number three, on okay. that one. Yep. But it's gentle as shit. I could full blown inhale on number one. Okay, there it is. Okay. Number one, I could have literally lived inside of that. So that's one. your winner. One and then three and then uh, six. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, so number one, you put the Norland unfortunate. as first, you put the Glen as number two, okay. and then you put the Rocks as number three. I can't. This is the, this is probably the worst one. That's important. That's, I think like even going back. I said I like drinking out of these ones. I didn't say I like nosing. It is so soft. It'll be interesting to see what you put these, because it's so, like, I expected out of most of these to have way more punch, yeah. like proof everywhere in my nose. Ready to do this? I gotta get, get this hangman's that. off, dude. <laughs> oh, I want to tell you that this is not an enjoyable experience with blindfold. Nope, flip it. Oh. This is not great. It's a very, very weird sensory deprivation experience. Okay. Oh, oh God. Can you move your hands? Okay. Right, little, little low. Oh, right in the mouth. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Hold on, I'm gonna. Oh. Tell me when. <laughs> you good? All right. We Ready? Back. Yep. Glass number one. Okay. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shove your nose in them because I don't feel like the aromas are strong enough. Okay. I mean it's just uh, a live pig barrel proof. All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. It smells not bad. Okay. Okay. A little light. Okay. Don't hate it. Okay. I mean. Ready? Yep. Okay. Go. Oh, I like that one. That's good. Can we, is it a weird experience for you to just randomly start smelling yeah. shit? Yeah, it it's is. It's not comfortable, is it? It's, it? I like it. You do? Yeah. Well, now we know what you're into, and yeah. Gabby's right here watching and listening. Smelling. So. Are you, are you? Go. I smell almost nothing. I buried one. your nose in that one, okay. too, and you didn't smell it. I either. smell almost nothing on that one. All right. Okay, that was number three. Okay. Just for reference. Yep. Okay, number four. Mm, don't hate. Okay. All right, you ready? Okay. What are you doing? I'm just mixing them all up so you don't even know where I'm putting them down. Okay, then are you ready? Number five. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yep, I need you to stop doing what you're doing. Okay. Oh, I like that one a lot. Okay. I like number five. Number five and number two, I think, are my... There's my one left. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Mm, see, I don't hate that either. Okay. Let me let me get two again. Do you remember Number what two. one? I have them all written down ahead okay. of time. Thank God. You ready? Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, I really like that one. Okay. All right, I'm going to say two, six, and five. Two is number one? Yep. Two, six. Oh. You went first place, Glenn. Perfect. Second place, Norlin. Wow. Okay. Third place, Rocks. Holy shit, Rocks glasses are amazing. For me and you both. What was mine? Where's my order? On the back? You. So you. this is your order. You went Glenn, Norlin, first, second, third. My order was first, second, third. Wow. All we did was switch those two. Okay. Oh, I hate Norlin. I, They're so expensive. Well, I mean, I don't like them as much as you. Let's get that straight. <sighs> Okay. So drinkability, we're gonna take into consideration how it tastes out of the glass. Okay. Uh, holding it. Yep. Like the experience of it having it in your hand. Yep. Third, g handing that to somebody else and being having not a smirk on your face. Right. Somebody mm -hmm. comes to your house and you go, "Oh yeah, here's some whiskey." Yep. That there's a level to that. I feel like I should just be like clamping on to it. Oh yes. I don't. I don't know what to do with my hands here. Okay. Like this just seems so inconvenient. Yeah, this is gonna, that's a good point. This is drinkability. That's the worst glass to hold and drink from, probably. I, I don't like to hold it. It's a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, yeah, I get it. When I can do it with uh, by myself and really get into the glass, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. I just think Ooh, it's I just- like that whiskey. Oh yeah, it's just awkward as hell. Going into this, that, that was my favorite one to drink out of. 
Oh, my favorite one to drink out is the Denver. Really? Mm. Something about this, it's good size. Can fit a lot of whiskey in there. Seems hotter out of that. Really? Yeah. Oh, it seems way hotter out of that. It smells hotter out of that too. No, out of the bowl, but out of the Kentucky bourbon trail glass, it's hotter. There's way more heat on the back of that than there is in that neat glass. Delicious. Okay, we're gonna move on. Third glass is gonna be the Glen. Specific. Where's the Glen? What is this? I can't believe he I know he we're using an engraved Glen, dummy. I figured he'd never notice. Something I, different. I specifically picked the engraved Glen. I'm gonna try to punk you. I was hoping you wouldn't even notice. Okay, okay, back at it. Amateur hour over here, dude. I notice everything. Nothing. I'm a hawk. These smell drastically different, by the way. Now that I do go back and forth. Yeah. Worse These, to hold. I get it. Terrible. Than the, than the uh, Kentucky Trail. Terrible to hold. I don't you like just, it. You got nothing. You know what you feel? I feel pinky out with that glass. Mm -hmm. Drinkability glass. sake, not great. Because I don't have your nose and I still get that. It still clunks. Yeah. You get clunker. Done a lot of videos with these and oh, it's yeah. still get that nose. And you know what I think? I think the flute design, I'm gonna call it a flute, the chimney design on the Glen, it, it allows for uh, prolonging of the alcohol nose, vapor thing. The Norland, glass number four, dude. It smells so soft and sweet in this yeah. glass. I, I hate drinking out of Norland. There is something weird about the, the bottom lip that's so fat. You always see, you always get that little bit that runs down no matter what. You know what? I was so annoyed because they're like, Norland's engineered by science. And I'm like, no, they're not. They might be. They might actually be. I think it's like 50 bucks for what, two of those on Amazon or something like that. I just, the only time I like grabbing these is in the summer. They're the they're great to hold because they never warm up your whiskey from yeah. your hand because they're like there's this uh, I don't even think I have one. There's a situation one. between the actual whiskey and the glass. There's a little air pocket in there. That's good, honestly. For a drinker, we're not talking. Are we so for tastings? Uh -huh. It's not the best. No. Because it levels with the proof that you can't taste anymore. The, some flavor the entire back end is gone. Of the the profile is yeah. like so weird. Like, yeah. This is the one that I get the woodiness out of it, but I like it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna move the old rocks. I can't wait for this. Easy. Easy, classy, yeah. classic. You got good heft, it's good size, apparently good nose out of them. Dude, some that's so like good. <laughs> I think because of the, the size of it, like and the, the proof hell? on this, it's holding such a good like vapor in there. Um, drinkability wise, might be a rocks. I, <laughs> so far. Yeah. Here's the thing, I like a little weight in the glass. So I have that Lord's Rocks glass at home. Those are great glasses. That's like, what, six ounces on that one? Six or eight. Yeah, and it's like, I get the heft yep. of this, yep. but I get the size of this. Mm -hmm. So, you go back to gonna go to those. Denver. Best one to hold and drink out of. Bar none, without a doubt. Okay. I like this, fits in between your fingers. Yep. You can, like, rest your fingers on the base. It's very heavy compared mm -hmm. to the rest of these. Oh yeah. And it doesn't feel obnoxious like this one. That, could you imagine serving this to people? <laughs> Here is your whiskey, sir. Like you're in a restaurant? Yeah, great I'm, nose. Listen, I... I mean... I, I paid for this Denver with my own money. Oh, that... Okay, I was gonna say very close to the Glenna nose. No, no I'm sorry. That was like a jet engine just hit me with uh, proof and deliciousness. And this is like... So much softer. It's wild that these taste different. Yeah. It's wild to me. It does, it's not wild they smell different. It's wild to me how different these taste out of different glasses. How much, okay. For how good this still smells, but like the drinkability yeah. of that. Yep. Here's the thing. Then they put that first. I know. <laughs> for drinkability. Drinkability and holding. If you're in a scenario where you're at somebody's place. Okay, so we will just agree that this is dead last for drinkability. Oh, yeah, do top three, do that instead My of that. My top three of like drinkability wise? Yep, on our scale of drinkability. I'm gonna go one. One. Yep. Two. Three. You don't think so? I would probably go. I know, uh, the problem is I'm now tasting them side by side, this really makes me feel the shortcomings of this glass. Me too, I agree. Okay, so for both of us, Rox, first place. Oh yeah. Rox gets a check for both of us. Easily. Rox is yeah. crushing this competition right now, it which is annoying. It holds the best. 
Tasting, I will give a slight edge to the Denver. Tasting, I'm gonna give an edge to oh, both well, of those. I mean, yeah. Tasting. Tasting wise, these destroy rocks. I, I not destroy. But uh, not has destroy. A small edge. This is the wild part. It's not destroy. No. It, these two are a little better. A little better. So we got tiebreaker. So these two here. are tied. We got tiebreaker. Yeah. It's between the Glen and the rocks. We just get rid of these three. Yeah. There's no reason. Well, I feel like if I clink the uh, spittoon there, this it's will explode. explode in a clink, dude. Yeah. Especially That's hard to it. pour. I'm gonna be honest. It's kind of like funky. So no, no, it, I mean it falls out, Dan. Oh. It just falls. Tell me, holding this one doesn't feel great though. Holding this glass, fancy. James, nope. Bond. James Bond. I almost said James Bond. Bond. Yeah, you know it's a whole thing. Anyways, clinkability test number three. Tiebreaker round. That was rough. Whichever one wins wins the whole <laughs> thing, dude. I don't care what came in first, second, or third anywhere else. How are we doing this? Clinkability. Clink the shit out of this bottle. No, no, no. Clink it. No, no, you stop moving though. All right. Let's do this. You do them at the same time. Do the double clink. Okay, Ready? Ready? Set, go. Which one's better, dude? I don't know which one's better. You know which one wins? Yeah. So the Glen Karen wins the whole thing. The Glen, first for you in the nosing. Yeah, hands down. Second for me in the nosing. Yep. Right? So, good good start. What do we put that second place for both of us in the taste, the, or third place for drinkability? Yeah. First place by far, far and wide, dude. People travel the lands. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> I was waiting for the last one for it to explode. This is the greatest thing that's ever <laughs> happened. So, the Glen Karen wins. This is a pointless video. Yeah. Can we say what the worst one was? The pot. Dead last. Dude, I think. I don't. Okay. I, dead a, last. A. Done. No, we're good. Just. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Here's your whiskey. Walk into a restaurant. <laughs> you know what the nice part is? If you don't care about germs at all, Could you, the server <laughs> can just be like, here you go, buddy, and throw it to you. <laughs> Could you imagine being in a restaurant? Someone being like, here is your bourbon, sir. And here is yours, sir. Good luck. Dude. <laughs> You'd be like, what uh, the fuck, man? Yeah, this is... Now, here's the thing. Do they use it in San Francisco Tasting Wars? Yes. Cool. Is this why McKenna won? Of course it oh, must yeah. be. Oh, yeah. So, um, Bernie Deiches, thank you for sending us these neat glasses, buddy. This was a great test. Denver and Liley did send us one of these initially. Mm -hmm. We did a giveaway with it. I bought another one so we could make this video. Dude, if I had more, I would drink out of those more often, I feel. I like drinking out of them. Yeah. Are they the best one? For, this might be the best, these are the best all around too, yep. for sure. Because when down. you're just sitting at home, I'm gonna be honest, I consume a lot of alcohol, and I don't necessarily pick it all apart. So. No, if you're just sitting down drinking, that's what we're trying to do here. Okay, Dan's We should have done a, de a best long pour glass, dude. Whatever everyone's got the, the widest mouth. That, but it's gonna be that funnel. It's gonna be, th yeah, that's a funnel. <laughs> that's a funnel. Okay, All we're right, we're the bourbon junkies. Yeah, shoot it. I'm Dan. And I'm He's Sean. Sean. The Denver, not worth using now. What did you say? Set that, not worth set that down. I can grip and rip. I just need to not thing, rip. <laughs> grip and rip. Not rip. More videos to shoot, so. <laughs> Proof's in the port. No, the proof is in the pole. <laughs>